All right, guys, I'm going to walk you through the installation of your Gen 2 vinyl harness holster onto your Alaska Guide Creations vinyl pack. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you uh, if you don't want these here, these are for um, using the chest rig or the, the holster as just a standalone chest rig. So you can take your straps completely off of your Alaska Guide Creations vinyl pouch. Hook them into these four buckle spots, and now you can wear this as just the chest holster. So um, you do not need to leave these on here. I sometimes just throw them in this back pouch or something to get them out of the way. Uh, they can be left on here if they don't bother you. Uh, they'll be out of the way. It'll work just fine. So uh, whatever you want to do, you can leave them on, take them off, doesn't matter. Um, until they ha they just need to be on here when you want to run this as a chest rig without the vinyl pouch. So then you would just flip it over. Um, these are just extras. You'd clip your harness right into here, into here, all four corners, uh, same as you would on the pouch, and you can run this as a chest holster. Uh, so if you don't need them on there, just take these off and stick them in the, uh, the back pouch or wherever you're not going to lose them. So these snaps are one-way snaps, so they have to come on and off this direction. So um, they, won't, they won't pull off this way, you got to pull from this side. And the same way to get them back on, you have to start it on this side and then snap that side closed. Um, they're, they're one way pull the dot snap so they only work this direction so get those both open and here's a little trick on this uh, getting the webbing over over the um, the snap here start it start it this way turn it 90 and that'll open it up and you can slide it right over the the uh, snap there. It'll work the exact same on these loops as well. Start it this way, turn it 90 and slide it through. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's see, let's get that out of the way. So you'll start it, start it this way, turn it 90 degrees and then slide it through and do the same thing on the other side. This is gonna work w uh, way better if you take your binos out of the pouch so it has some flop to it. These, you can bend a little bit here, just don't kink it over, but it is, it is flexible enough, you can bend it over enough to get it on here, just don't kink it. So, start it this way, uh, turn it 90, and then that'll slide over the snap. Probably the other way is better. And also this will help you. You can slide this up on here. That'll give you more room as well. Turn it 90, slide it over. Okay, and then these snap closed, start this way. Snap it closed. Same thing here. Start on that side, snap it closed. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the side buckles. Um, you have two options here. You can either take this buckle straight to here. Some people prefer that. Um, and I think that works better on the pouches that have the big uh, pocket on the bottom of the basement. Um, if you don't have that, try this, it might work for you. If, you, if not, um, you can also hook it up like I'm gonna show you here. So we're gonna take this buckle off. We're going to um, put the buckle on that is supplied with the holster, but you're gonna thread it opposite of the way you would normally thread these. So instead of going Instead of going this way, you know, up through the back and then down through the bottom, like I just took the other one off, you're going to go the opposite direction. So you're going to go this way. See, I came through that and then down that direction. So you just, you just thread it through the exact opposite of the buckle you took off of here. And then this will go right back to the buckle that you took off. And these auto locks can be just a little tricky to get started again, but not too bad. And slide that back down on there. Okay, so now you're going to need to, um, you'll need to adjust it, something similar to this. You'll have to play with it once it's on. Um, you know, get, make sure this is snug. And what that'll do is two things. It'll keep this from flopping around and it'll snug it up so when you draw the pistol, it, the whole thing doesn't move it around on you. Um, and that's one thing with the, you know, the, the Razco, the Kydex holster style. Um, the, the whole pouch and everything needs to be fairly snug. So another 
another tip, and you can see I've got it here, is to run the uh, the light harness that they sell, the Alaska Guide Creation sells, uh, versus the standard one that comes through it. This thing is way more adjustable. You can make the pouch ride a bunch higher, and you can get the whole system snugged up, especially if you're a small framed person or a female or something. Um, if you don't have the if you don't have the torso size to get the their standard one snugged up, this light one works uh, well to get a lot more adjustment out of it. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Take that one off. Thread this one through the opposite direction. So you can see we're going, we're going backwards of what you would normally thread these, these uh, side release buckles. And then we'll put the uh, auto lock buckle back on exactly the way we took it off. Okay, and that is how you install. See, both of these are both of these are here. And like I said, you don't need these. You can run these straight to the holster, and some people prefer that. Um, try both ways, see what you like, and uh, there you go. Installing your Rasco Gen 2 onto your Alaska Guide Creations.